Hello, this is lesson five of unit two, whole numbers. It's called using benchmarks to estimate. So um, before we get really started, we're going to do this activity. Um, I'm going to read the instructions and then you're going to pause the video and try it on your own. And so we're going to be using these three number lines. Um, we've got this top one that goes from 80 to 90. The middle one goes from 900 to 1,000. And the bottom one goes from 80,000 to 90,000. Okay. And so what you're going to do is for each number line, you're going to follow these three steps. So you're going to label the number line. So the first number line we're going to focus on, label the number line with, so the number that is halfway between the two given numbers, so halfway between 80 and 90 in the middle. So mark it out and what number would that be? Um, a number that is closer to the first number than the second number, this being the first number. So a number that would be over here. And then the last one, uh, a number that is closer to the second number than the first number. So you're finding the middle number and then a number that's closer over here and a number that's closer over here. These ones could be different numbers. It's not just one number. Okay, so pause the video, fill out these three number lines and then play again once you're finished and we'll go through it. Okay, so you should be finished. And uh, so what's halfway between 80 and 90 is 85. So 81, 2, 3, 4, 5 should go right here. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, yeah. Okay, so this one, each tick is worth one. The rest of them are not going to be that easy, but we'll get there. Okay, um, so that's halfway between a number that's closer to the first number. So literally any of these you could write down. So I'll just pick 82. You could have picked 81, 83, or 84. And then on the other side, I'll just pick 88. I like things to be balanced, but you really could have picked any, any on that side, just as long as it's closer to 90. Okay, and then the next one, what's halfway between 900 and 1,000 is 950. Uh, a number that's closer to 900 than it is to 1,000. Um, we'll put it on this part again that we could pick 920. And over here we could pick 980. Right, so this one, this one would be skip counting by uh, tens. 900, 910, 920, 930, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000. Okay, and then the, the last one here, what's halfway between 80,000 and 90,000? Well, again, it's going to be this tick right here because it's the middle of the line. And we're going to put a 5 again, and then we just have those three zeros. So 85,000 is in between 80,000 and 90,000. Um, a number that is closer to 80,000 than 90,000, you could pick 82,000. And over here, you could pick 88,000 or any of the, of the other ones. It doesn't really matter, okay? Um, so what you're noticing is that <clears throat> some numbers are direct, exactly in between a couple of numbers and some are closer to a certain number. Um, and so what we're really looking at is these numbers right here on the ends, these are benchmark numbers. Okay, it depends on how we're rounding, but basically we look at benchmarks when we're rounding. And so if we're rounding to the nearest 10, then 80 and 90 are benchmarks. If we're rounding to the nearest 100 place, then 900 is a benchmark, and then technically 1,000 would be if we were rounding up like if, if, if our number was 980 and we're rounding to the nearest uh, 100, we would round this up to 1,000. And then this one, um, these are benchmarks for rounding to the nearest 10,000. Okay. Um, oh, clear ink. So you've seen this before, but this is the rounding rule rhyme that we used when we're remembering how to round. Um, so we find the number, look right next door, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest, right? So if we have five or six, four, eight, and we want to round to the nearest ten, we find the number, look right next door at the eight. If it's five or more, we raise the score, so it would end up being 650. Um, if we were rounding to the nearest hundred, though, then we look at the, we look at the four, because that's right next door. Four is four or less, so we let the six rest, and it would round to 600. Okay, so that's this. This is rounding, and you're going to be using that um, when you use compatible numbers, and also when you're using uh, front-end rounding with compensation. 
Okay, that's basically what that is. This is just a simplified version of it. Um, and so a rounding mountain is another way of, just a visual way of looking at it. So um, another, so four or less, then it goes down to the, the lower benchmark. Um, if it's five or more, it goes up to the higher benchmark. Okay, um, we're not gonna look at that too much more because we've already looked at it quite a bit. So um, let's do the example here. So it says there were 23,782 people at a lacrosse game. The number 23,782 is exact. It is a count of the number of people. Estimate based on the following place values. So we just need to round this based on different place values. Okay, so we can do the first one together and then I'll do the rest with you. Unless you want to do that one by yourself too, then pause now. Okay, so to the nearest 10,000. So that this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000. So that two right there, that's 10,000. So we look right next door, it's a three, which is four or less. So we let the two rest and we put zeros in place of everything else since we want to the nearest 10,000. That means everything after it is zero. Okay, so please pause the video. Find uh, the nearest thousands, hundreds, and tens, um, each time going back to this number. Okay, so pause the video. And you should be done this now. So to the nearest thousand would be that three right here. So two stays the, th the same. And then we don't know if the three will be a three or the benchmark of four. Okay, so we look right next door, seven is five or more. So it will bump up to a four and zeros for the rest. Uh, to the nearest hundreds, that's at the seven. So the two and the three stay the same. Um, and then the seven, we look right next door at the eight. Eight is five or more, so we raise the score. So seven turns into an eight, and the rest is zeros. And then to the nearest tens, so two, three, seven, stay the same. And then eight, we look right next door, it's a two, so that's four or less. We let it rest. So rounding to the nearest tens, this number would be 23,780. Okay. And that's the, that's the entirety of the lesson. You're basically rounding. Sometimes you're adding things, but you're basically making sure that you can round. Okay, so um, the textbook assignment is page 55 to 56, numbers 1 to 5, 9, and 12.